Now let's come to the second method in which you will export the files from Mendeley in XML format and then map that XML file into Excel. Now after mapping the XML file into Excel, you have two methods to arrange your data. You can use Power Query to arrange the data and you can also use Formulas to arrange the data. So we have these files to export. Press Ctrl A and select them all. Press right click, go to export option. And this time I'm saving it in the format of XML, EndNote XML. And I'm keeping this name, My Collection. Now go to your Excel. Go to the Developer tab. If you cannot see this tab on your Excel, then go to File, go to More, go to Options. And you can see this option Customize Ribbon. And you can see this. I have right clicked this option Developer tab. If this is blank, it will not show on your Excel. If this is right clicked, then this Developer tab will show on your Excel. Press OK. Now go to your Developer tab. You can see this option Source. Click the source. Now it will show this XML source, XML maps in this workbook. Go to this option, XML maps, and then press add. And I think I've saved this file on my desktop by the name of my collection. Press OK. Then you can see this. This is the XML map that this workbook has created. Now what you have to do, you have to just click and drag whatever of whatever information you want from this XML map, such as I want, I want this author option. Now just click and drag. I want the journal title. I'm sorry. This is the article title. You also want the journal title. I also want year. And I also want the keywords. This is enough. I'm sorry, I will delete it. This is not the right place. Press the click then drag again keyword. Okay, then you can see this light blue color highlighted area. Go to any cell and then press right click and then go to this option XML. Go to this option import and select your XML file that we had just exported from Mendeley. And now you can see this data imported from this file, from this XML file. Now you can see that if an article has only one author, then it will arrange the data in a right format, in a right way. But if your article has multiple authors or multiple keywords, then what Excel is doing, it is making duplicate entries and arranging it row by row. So what we have to do is to extract unique values by selecting this criteria because you know, year can be same for many articles, keywords can be same, but this journal article will be unique. So we will try to extract unique articles from this data. In the first method, we will use Power Query Manager to arrange the data. Go to your data tab. In the data, go to this option from table slash range. This will open the Power Query Editor. See, you can see this table. Now what you have to do, select those columns by which you have to arrange your data. Title, title contains your unique data, journal article and year. So what we are doing, we have selected those columns by which you want to organize the data. By selecting these columns, go to this option, transform and go to this option, group by. Now it is asking for new column name. New column name will be author. And what we have to do, we have to sum those values. This new column will be arranged by which column it will be based on this author column, original author column. We also want to arrange our keyword column. So we will click this option at aggregation. 
new column name will be keywords the same operation will happen that is sum and the column by which it will reference the original values will be keyword okay and you can see these three columns which we had selected title secondary title year on the basis of these columns it will arrange the remaining columns so okay now let's see the result excel has extracted unique articles see all these uh, journal articles are unique and the publications according to those articles and the year now these columns author and keywords are showing error because the sum function in excel is for numbers not for words and author and keywords column both of these columns contain text text data so therefore we will change the formula you can see that in the formula tab it has it is the it is their list dot sum we have to change it to text dot combine just delete this list dot sum and enter text dot combine and the separator by which you want to separate these different values will be semicolon in the quotation marks similarly we have done this for author tab now you can see that uh, it is showing the unique author values we want to do the same thing for keywords similarly list sum is here delete this list sum and enter text dot combine and similarly keywords we are going to separate the keywords by using comma values so in the quotation marks i will put this comma and now it will arrange the keywords automatically now you can see now our data is done and now we can export it go to home tab uh, click this option close and load close and load to new worksheet go to new worksheet and his, here is our unique data unique table now you can see all these values are unique general articles are unique secondary title i can name this publication or journal name year is there and author is there authors are there and author names are separated by semicolon and keywords are here according to each article and keywords are separated by comma values so this is our unique table and this method is the easiest method and is the most convenient method because you don't have to do anything power query will do everything automatically so this is our unique table and we do not need any more this xml map so we can delete this map by going to this option xml maps select this map press delete press ok and then press ok so this map is deleted now and here is our unique uh, unique data and you can filter this data according to your criteria by year by author by general name etc now in the second method we will use formulas to arrange our data come to the cell d50 and press equal to and we will use the unique function in excel to extract unique values from these journal articles the first argument is our array from which we want to extract unique values and our array in this case is d7 to d47 so our first argument is d7 to d47 and i will select this range to fix this by pressing f4 on your keyboard and then my argument will be false to return unique rows and then again i will put this argument false to return every distinct item bracket closed enter now you can see this function has returned unique text values from this array and these are our uh, five journal articles five unique journal articles and now on the basis of these values we will extract other values in other columns in the remaining columns now come to the cell e50 press equal to 
and we will use text join function in Excel to return multiple matching values on the basis of some distinct value. Now the first argument is our delimiter. Our delimiter will be comma and we will use the argument true to ignore empty cells and then in this argument I will enter those values from which I will enter the array from which I want to return the multiple matching values. So I will use if function if this value d50 is equal to this array d7 to d47 and I will fix this range by pressing F4 then return the values that are in the E column from E7 to E47 and then also fix this range select the range and press F4 and if this value is not true or it does not match the array which we have entered then return nothing bracket close and enter now you can see that uh, for this cell on the basis of this journal article towards an implied cost of capital it has returned publication name journal of accounting research multiple times because in this array it is entered multiple times it is entered five times so four times so that's why it has returned four times this journal of accounting research so what we want to do is we want to return unique value so we will make a slight change in the formula before the if function we will enter unique function and then bracket close and bracket close now we have solved this problem now it has and now it has returned only one argument journal of accounting research and then go to this small green square click and drag and see for every journal article it has returned unique publication name corresponding unique publication name now we can copy this formula towards other columns to return unique values we will have to make slight change in this formula now what we want to do we have to uh, change this value to d50 again d50 equal to and uh, the year column is f column f7 to f47 so we will make changes in this and everything else is same now it has returned 2001 for this journal article which was published in this publication and now click and drag now it has returned the unique values on the basis of these journal articles through this formula and now we can copy this formula towards other columns also now I have completed the remaining table by using the same formulas and making the slight adjustment to the formula by changing the array from which I want to extract the unique values for example, in this keywords column, I have used the array G7 to G47 and similarly in this column, the authors column, I have used the array C7 to C47. Now I will copy this table and go to this your previous result, previous result from the first method to compare the results from both the methods. Press right click, go to paste special and then go to paste values. Now you can see uh, you can see the results from both the methods and uh, no matter what method you use the results will be similar and you can see this uh, title column uh, title column is the first column from the first method and in this second method title column is the second column so you can compare the results and I personally prefer the power query method because it is automated and you do not have to do anything and in this method formulas method uh, one point I want to mention that the text join function and unique function in Excel are available since Excel 2019. So you won't be able to use them use them in previous versions. Therefore, 
uh, Power Query method is better method and it is more convenient. And and that's it from my side. I hope you like this video and please subscribe to my channel. I will keep posting such videos to facilitate your research journey. So thank you and goodbye.